when I all come back home. Whether on a like them or not, AI don't they and everybody go use them. For this video today, I just want to show now free to when you say if they even they give me the steps where I go need to build anything where I want build for this life. So if you look inside here now, you can see say I did inside this site where they call find.com p h i n d dot com. If you go this site, you go use the AI search engine where they just for developers now PWA. So if you install them, it they very very intelligent, very very clever on how to they explain code or they explain what you go need to do. So uh, you get all these toggles for here, all these buttons where they here, and the expert mode just means say the thing go they write the code. You go taking time explain the code for you. you go taking time write the code for you. If you say make it they concise, it they bit balance, it they be left sided, it they be right sided, but it they still work on a very on your answer. It they give you the best answer where if it give you possible. You understand? But if you say make a day creative, now that then I went, you know, go go the internet, you know, go give you any of those things. You go just do, you go start to use your own brain to the reason the answers for you. Okay. So based on the ones where you want, you feel even mix the two, you feel add the two like this, the consultant and, ex and experts, and it go work well well for you. Go give you the right results for here. Uh, you get the dark mode, you get the light mode. If you also join the Discord server, if you want to follow us, they chat for that. Uh, by the way, this video not they sponsored by these guys. So now just two ways me I they use as developer where they share with you now. Okay, then uh, if you customize your search as you want, if you set them as your default, if you even check your search history, if you even do shortcuts where you want for inside them, you get hot call, hot keys, you get the mobile app, you get anything where you want to use for this app as a developer. And the way you they search for these sites, we say you go they ask them, you go to tell them say what is this? Like how I feel say hello world in JavaScript or how can I build a React component? without using class-based components anything where you want to do you feel do for you but you go they ask them as questions you go they talk like say they follow person talk nobody say go just talk and like google say um, problem and then that nine so i don't write this prompt for here we could just tell this fine.com say i have go take build this real components we go help me display or any information where i get for github and i go like uh, just say make we just click this x part for here make we see as you go give us the result for here first once you click them it go load you go notice say the way they write the code it they take on like this small small for here you see it they write on small small it they write on small small it they even give me a ui kit where i feel use where i go feel build this component for here so as i click on for expert mode it go this slow as soon as i go don't notice say the thing don't load slow slow for here make we say we want to test this out so i could just go this side for here code sandbox and uh, i go create a new sandbox for here and then uh, make i just create a quick react sandbox for here all right so this is a we fit spin any react app for inside here this now our react component if we fit change the text for here say hello world it will change and this now our react app so make we go back into our find see the answer where this thing give us it says to build the real component that is rounded display a public github information it says if it create a custom card component we go use this mdb card you will need to fetch your github data using the github api right so just by following this step we go feel learn how we go feel build this card make we try follow the steps so it says the first step we say make we install the mdb uh react ui kit once we start that package we go fit create a new component call this component github card so make we do like that so i can just click here i don't already click this install for here if there is pmpm run your pmpm script but me i don't already install the package for here and then make we create a new file uh, for inside our src make we just call them github card dot js and make we copy this code go back and then make we paste them here so as we don't do them, we don't already import the components and it say it don't tell us where we go add our code. Maybe we follow the next step. The next step talks say uh, add a border radius to style this component. So we could just carry this code for here, click on. So we could go back and then make we paste them here as our component. So this is say we don't import this component. 
we don't get our stars for here but we still get other components where we will need to add so we could go back into the search engine then the talk say for step three here make we fetch our github data from github api and then make we use effect and use state hook to fetch the data and store the data for inside our components so carry on put stamp for inside our real component we could press down for the top of our component so this now our state where they read uh, as null and then this now our github api where we go add our username for here and once we add that username it's supposed to give us some data and then it says here make we display the data where we don't get so by clicking this button for here and once we don't copy them we could call use them can replace this return statement or this component with the here once we update this data, it's going to work with this data only when this data will show. Now that time, it will show us the uh, GitHub name, the login, uh, username. It will show us the bio and it will show us the public repo and all sorts of uh, other goodies. So make we see where it's in if you do. Uh, use the GitHub card components in your main components, it says. So for inside this GitHub card components, we could call export them. And then we want to use that GitHub card components inside our own component. So make we copy them, come here, and don't forget we don't the export our GitHub card, right? So don't forget to export them. Go back into our app component. I could just replace this code with the here with that other one, and just like that, if I press save, it will load our information. You just say we get this data for here. But I just add my username for here. And just by adding my username, we get this card for here as a real component. So you can see, say with this code, we don't arrange ourselves for here. So what if we want to ask another question? Like, let's say uh, you want to ask something else. How to build a man stack app. So if you just ask them, Dana, you know, we don't know what's in main stack B. It just means say you want to build MongoDB, Express, React, and Node.js application. But I want to make the answer day creative and I want to make it day concise. So I go click search now and this go give me a faster result. You can see say the result just fast. It just give me pa, 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 the result for here. And just like this, I feel use this code to build a main stack application. Of course, it's still the right code, so make we read the code where they talk. So it says to build a main stack application, I go need the following steps. We have to say I go need to install Node and MongoDB for the system, and also I go need to create a new directory, navigate to the directory which is normal with the terminal, and then you go need to initialize the project as a Node project. And then after you don't do the initialization, we go need to install all the dependencies, Express, Mongoose. We go to interact with our MongoDB database and our schema for us. And then we're going to need React and React DOM and React uh, script for our front end. Of course, for the last step, we're going to need to they do our uh, server code for inside our server JS. These are not the steps where you're going to need to build anything where you want to do for main stack. These are not the basic steps. So make we try to look at the code, make we see whether if you do. Now, one thing where if you look, we say for uh, Node.js, if you feel maybe write code with this uh, require, but I did like to use ES6. So this is not the uh, common JS syntax. So I feel just say, okay, so make I come ask a follow-up question. Make I talk say, I feel just tell them say, make it show us the server code using ES6 imports. And waiting it go do be say, it go show us the code based on our previous results. So you will see the code sets up the basic express server where we connect that to MongoDB database. It also routes it to the response of hello world. And then it says, uh, notes that we use the import syntax instead of the require which is the ES6 way of importing a module. So it they even tell us, say, see what you do. Uh, and so let's say we try a DOM like this and the code no work, right? So what if we get a backend code and we set that code up and no work? Well, if you even try give them an error message. So make we try see whether we feel give a simple um, um, error message. I could just try cause an error for one of our applications for here and we could see waiting the fetch response could give us for here so i go what's i go do be say i go say make i commit this l and then what's i want to be say i want just console log data 
So you see, say they tell us, say GitHub, uh, at least their own API, they tell us, say, uh, we get this error message. So if you just copy this message for here, I could just highlight them. Uh, in fact, make I just copy this whole object. I could just highlight them. And then make we go back into find.com. How do I fix this error? And I could just paste that error message for there. So you see, so this means say this is a very easy way for you to debug your application. It go to show you say this error message where you get is not found. So if the error message not explained in self already for here, but you could just look here and then you could get the idea. Say this is not how you fix them. So they tell us say ensure that the endpoint is correct. That now the URL where we're going to use where we want hit, and then you could just tell us say as the, as the docs to come. Make we also see check the authentication for the endpoints. Make we check if now OAuth access. Maybe because we try use OAuth for there, we try um, ask for user permission and all those kind of things. Or if we use third party application, make we check all those kind of things for our application. So these now the basic steps. We say you first try this step one. If this one don't work, step two go to go up. The AI now your party. So this is a very powerful thing. And you see, I'm saying they get all these links here and the source where they get them. You just be like Google and all these things. You feel they use them to build anything where you want build. I'll say this video don't show now the power and the advantage of using AI and why now not the best time for you to learn about code and about tech. So I could also like know what you wanna they use if you they use tools like this, like this find.com, or if you know any other one way you go like make we even review. And if you never join our telegram, I beg, go join the telegram. Now here we won't even see build some kind of interesting things, meet some interesting people, make developers like yourself and myself, make we start to communicate, make we build ourselves, make we learn from each other together. So I go see you now for the next video. Wow, 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 wow.